Ooh, what is up guys, my name's Liam and this is episode 60 in our Pokemon White to Adventure. And um, we're heading to Route 6 today. Excuse me real quick. I'm very sorry about that, but I'm back now. Um, Skype was just acting up a bit. Can we go down here? Oh, we can. What's down here? Relic Passage. No, I think we'll leave it and we'll go straight to Route 6 this time. So, uh, Route 6 is this way, I believe. Don't quote me on that, people, because um, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, I'm pretty sure this is the way to Route 6. If not, we'll have to consult the, the town map. Oh, no, this is the way to Route 6. Awesome, so who's in front here? Do we need to heal anyone up? Oh, we certainly do need to heal up. Um, so we'll head to the Pokemon Center real quick. Oh, we might be looking at... Actually, I'm going to put um, Pig Knight in front because he's suffering a bit from the levels, if I remember. Whereas everyone else level 32, he's level 31, so we need to definitely get him in front. And I think I've decided on a 6 Pokemon, but um, we won't be getting it for a while, unfortunately. It is a water type. Um, I don't think that's all I'll tell you for the moment. But yeah, it'll take a while... Uh, for us to be able to catch it, but uh, I think it's probably the best choice for our six Pokemon. And then the the nurses, a little dialogue there. We nice nice to see. It's nice to see things remain the same in Pokemon. It just brings that nostalgia back. Has the nostalgia nostalgic feel about things. So uh, yeah, I quite, I quite like the fact that they've not really tampered with the nurses' uh, dialogue. Going through trials is the is best. Going through trials is the best for growing stronger. So this is a Pokemon breeder, and uh, as we've learned from previous episodes, every time you pass a Pokemon breeder, it will always want a battle. I mean, Chino. I think we can take a Chino with a couple of arm thrusts pretty easily. I think Pig Knight evolves at level 32. If not, it evolves at level 34. And if not, it evolves at level 36. So there's three, three options there. Um, well, not options, but these are. Uh, Three different. Hmm. Cute charm, that is not fun. One more time would have been perfect. Um. I'm gonna go with a flame charge just to raise my uh, speed a bit. Unfortunately, we are in love now with this Minchino, so that is not very good. Um. Come on. I'm um, with. Immobilized by love. Don't. Oh, thank god. Yeah, and this means she looks like it's going to be annoying as anything. Oh, come on. Okay, she's in Swift now. At least it's not using Sing. Oh my god, that's three in a row. Come on. It's going to take us out of this, right? Don't you dare. Hey, there we go. Perhaps that's been Chino dealt with for a long time. I don't want to head back to the Pokemon Center because it means we'll have to battle this Minchino again, which will not be fun. A Daylink. Which is hopefully grass type because it's autumn. There we go. Oh, is it summer? It's one of them, that's the point. So we'll flame charge this Daylink, and that is all she wrote for that Daylink. The Daylink changed type or just appearance in the different seasons? I think it's just the appearance, isn't it? I think they always remain grass type. So, um, Pokey's almost level 32 here, almost caught with the rest of the guys on the team. Which is weird, because usually, um, the starter Pokemon is just about always the most, the highest level on the team, so it's kind of weird that as soon as I start a Let's Play is the first time that I ever have the start Pokemon the lowest level on the team, so it's kind of, kind of weird. But it's about to get even with everyone else now, so it's not too bad. And now, let's see if it... Pokey will evolve at level 32. I'll be surprised if it does, because I'm pretty sure it evolves at level 34, but we'll see. Yeah, it evolves at level 34. Um, who else would like... I think we'll put Ganja up at front, because we, we don't know what level Ganja will evolve, because it evolves through friendship and high level. Well, not high level, just friendship. But, um... There we go. That took a while for it to look at us. Pouring rain, fighting Pokemon. There's no pouring rain. She'd be crazy. Parasol laid in a coal. And she sends out a caster form. That is something interesting worth noting. I did find a caster form in, um, in a shaking grass, but I decided not to get it, and it was off camera. So, uh, yeah, a couple of episodes ago when I was training up, I forgot to mention. I was going to mention, but I forgot to. And in the shaking grass, I saw a caster form. But uh, I don't really want a caster form on my team, so I said no thank you to that. 
And that was that. Oh, powder snow. What a noob. See if Bug Bag can do anything better. Not really. I think we'll have to stick with Razor Leaf on this one. This train doesn't seem very good. Keep using Water Gun and such. Razor Leaf. Oh, it has Ember. That's not good. Don't. Oh, fuck. It's always like, I always seem to faint when I'm one move away from winning the battle, so it always just completely annoys me whenever I lose. I hear the sad melody of a total defeat. Quiet, because you just got done in, son. Alright. I need to reach out to the experience points of Pokemon for my homework assignment. School kid Mara wants to battle, and she sends out a daily. So uh, a bug bite should be super effective. Oh, we need to be careful because we are kind of low on HP. Oh, that's not good. Hopefully this will take it out. There we go. Now we need to switch out now. Um, Shelmet, so uh, we'll switch into... It's part steel, isn't it? So a uh, Porky should be able to do the job. I think it's bug and steel type thing. Don't quote me on that though. Meaning that a um, a heat crush will be four times effective. Plus, I'm pretty sure we have a bit of a weight advantage over it, which boosts the power of heat crush a bit. And Skull Kid Mara was defeated. Oh, a Pokemon. It's interesting. A Fungus, I'm guessing. Yeah, there we go. Go Ganja! Go, go, Ganja, go, go! I think I'm bug bite. We should be faster than this Fungus. Fungus tend to be pretty crap, not gonna lie. Effect Sport. Hmm. Okay, we're just gonna heal up uh, Ganja a bit so we can take out this Fungus. Um. Hyper Potion, please. We can always buy some more, so it's not too bad. Now let's see. Um, well, we really have no choice but to stick with the bug bite, but it is part poison as well. I think it's poison and grass type. Don't quote me on that. Once again, I don't know barely anything about Pokemon, especially white too, because uh, I'm totally new to the game. So um, yeah, please do not quote me on that. Whatever you do. Oh, since when did Fungus learn Ingrain? That's where this game is just made to be annoying. Okay. One more bug bite should finish it off, hopefully. Oh. Paralyzed Hacks always gets me. Keeps using the Ingrain for some weird reason. I don't get why Wild Pokemon shouldn't. I still think, you know, Wild Pokemon should have a certain sense of not being totally retarded. Um, and an elixir. Now this looks very interesting. A tranquil. And we need to run as fast as we can from this dude here. Um, not the best matchup in the world, that's for sure. So there's appears to be a hidden item. Oh, Sharon. And let me just heal up real quick. I think that's a daily research lab from Pokemon Black. Um, oh, that's not the medicine case. Here's the medicine case. Um, Paralyze heal. There we go. Oh, we only have one left. We need to get a couple more of those. Hi, right, Sharon. What's up, mate? Oh, Liam, can you come with me for a moment? Yeah, of course I can. No one really talks about it, but the record shows there was a, a sudden drop in temperature near Lacanosa. Why can't they just give them, like, normal names? Lacanosa Town. It was only a moment, but it went down as low as minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Not only that, but similar temperatures were recorded around Castilia City and Driftdale City. On top of that, the incident with Team Plasma. I think they need some investigation before things go bad. I hate cold weather, though. I'll give you this. 
It's a hidden machine that contains Surf. With this, please go to different places and check what's going on. Let one of your Pokemon learn Surf and you can travel across the water. So we've got Surf, but we don't have a water type Pokemon, and we won't get it until Undella Town, so there's a, a little more insight for you guys to what Pokemon that will be. Search so to have slowed you down, some strange things may be happening, so be careful on your journey. I just want to double check what uh, Undella Town is, because I'm pretty sure it's like at the end of the game, so uh, obviously I don't want it, my six Pokemon to be only available at the end of the game, so I'll just double check that. Mistralton, Icarus. I wonder if that's named after um, Icarus. Spell, spell differently though. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm just going to tell you the tale of uh, Daedalus and Icarus. Bit of a Greek mythology for you guys. So there's Undella Town. That is a very long way away. Um, yeah, I don't think that will be my final Pokemon, but okay, so uh, that, that's not a bad idea. I'll tell you this tale of Daedalus and Icarus. So it um, looks like I need to go and do this. But yeah, Daedalus and Icarus. So uh, Daedalus was an inventor, and Icarus was his son. Daedalus was a famed throughout Greece for all of his inventions, and um, King Minos trapped him. Well, didn't trap him, but he, uh, he kept him prisoner so that Daedalus could build a labyrinth for the Minotaur, which he would eventually feed Greek men. So uh, Daedalus wasn't too keen on this idea of building a labyrinth for King Minos. So what he did, excuse me, I'm trying to concentrate while telling you a bit of Greek mythology. So uh, what he did was he basically, he, him and his son were locked in a tower, and he would lure pigeons um, and different birds towards his windowsill each night, so eventually he would be able to construct two pairs of wings, one for him and one of his son to fly away. Daedalus molded, molded these wings with wax so that they would all stick together and uh, it would all be safe. Oh, a moonstone right there. So we need a moonstone right next to the Dailing Laboratory. So yeah, the um, the wax would uh, weld to a certain extent the uh, the wings together. But before they set off and uh, attempted their escape from the from King Manus's tower in Crete, this is all taking part place in Crete, by the way. Thought I should mention that. Um, Daedalus warned his son Icarus not to fly too close to the sun for fear that it would well melt the wax and the wings would come undone. Um, Icarus being an idiot like he was, he he wasn't a genius like his father and he flew way too close to the sun and so when his father called back um, so when uh, his father called to Icarus Icarus could not hear him due to it was too far up, it was too close to the sun. Eventually the sun wax uh, melted the wax on the wings and Icarus fell into what is now known as the Icarian Sea. So uh, that's a, a Greek mythology for you. And, uh, in case you guys didn't know, I do actually take Greek mythology and uh, ancient history as one of my A-level courses. So uh, I understand that was a pretty terrible rendition of that tale. And there's many different versions. So uh, if you think I got a bit wrong, I probably did, but... Uh, Another reason why you probably think I got a bit wrong was there's, there's a lot of different versions of many Greek myths and whatnot. So uh, I might have got it wrong, might not have got it wrong. Um, so yeah, that's uh, maybe you guys found it interesting, maybe you didn't, but uh, yeah, I'm sort of into all that Greek mythology stuff. And uh, so yeah, it's interesting. Well, I think it is anyway. And uh, back onto the game now, which you guys are probably shouting at me to do anyway. So uh, why are Pokemon able to understand their trainers, but trainers can't understand their Pokemon? I think that's what she said. Um, what's down here? I'm thinking a hidden item. So there's a hidden item there. Let's go check what that is. A dealing. Dealings are very boring. We don't like dealings. Get out of there, dealing. I'm gonna bug bite you till you die. A bug bite. A bug bite. Oh, I've already the attack. Can't wait till we get a Lee Rani because uh, they're quite fast actually, so uh, that'd be nice. Could this be the time we get a Lee Rani? Perhaps this episode? Not quite, I'm afraid. But um, probably next level, I assume. It has, it is wearing the Sooth Bell, so uh, you never know. Put Anubis in front just so everyone can have a roughly the same level. Ganja's fast becoming um, our strongest Pokemon. Won't it evolve? Oh, a tiny mushroom. I oh, don't know if they have the collector still in these games, but if they do, that'd be pretty sweet. Haha, <laughs> there's another mushroom here. But, um, 
If you caught in those, you'd have to call it magic, wouldn't you? Or at least Mario or something drug related. So, um, what was I saying? Oh, not a fungus. At least it was, um, in the previous games, it was Voltorb. You know, decent Pokemon or electrodes, but now it's just Fungus, and it's like, why? Why does every region need a Pokemon that's shaped like a Pokeball and really crap? Carablast? Those going to uh, evolve into pretty cool. Um, what do they evolve into now? I'm trying to think. I think it's pretty cool, though, from what I remember. They look pretty sick. An Ultra Ball right there? Man, this is a long route. Man, there's a lot of Pokemon. I should probably use using Repel, shouldn't I? I think I might um, take my own advice here and use Repels. Oh, Anubis is already leveled up anyway, that's nice. So uh, we'll whap a Repel down if we have one anyway. I'm pretty sure we do, though. Um, Super Repel, there we go. We've got 29 of them. Might as well use them. Oh, stupid Fungus! Fungus? Jesus Christ, Fungus! Fandan! Um, yeah. <laughs> That's me going off on my own little word there. World there. These are getting quite high level Pokemon. I don't think we're falling behind on levels. To me, the battlefield is a place for learning. Well, that is very nice. I'm very happy for you. I must admit. School kid Alvin wants to battle. And he sends out a Fungus. Like, really? Fungus? Do Fungus even evolve? I'm not even sure they do. I'm pretty sure they don't, actually. Um, Force Palm's the only thing we can really do. Yeah, suck it. Stupid Fungus. Um, try a Bone Rush, I guess. Okay, let's try another Bone Rush. If it doesn't avoid the attack this time. Oh, we need more than that. I will, I will hit him with another Bone Rush. He thinks. Oh, I did nothing. Okay, Bone Rush, quick. Quick attack might have been better. But it has, um... I'm not sure what special effect it has, so it might, like, paralyze me on contact or something. It has static. I'm not sure why it would have static, but it might. Um... I'm pretty sure that... Quick Guard is terrible, but let me just double check on that. Use Protect Self and Salas from prior Priority Moves if used in second round. That's pretty crap. So no one in the, in the single player uses Priority Moves, pretty much. Um, keep all moves. Uh, yeah, give up on Quick Art, please. Actually, it might have been smart to replace Metal Sound with that, but... Uh, oh well. Shit happens. Come on, Randy. Randy can do this. Coming up the rear, it's... Randy, aka Braviary. An aerial A should probably finish off this Carablast. Bit of a weird name, isn't it? Carablast. Hmm. School killed Alvin was defeated. Yo, Paracel lady. Well, that's weird. I walked right in front of her and she didn't say anything, but it took a while and then. Then she said something. What's fun with Pokemon? Do you want to play with us? Not particularly, I've got to, I've got to become champion, I'm afraid, but maybe another time. Parcel Lady Tiana sends out a caster form. I'll probably sort of uh, put Bravier in first now that I'm used to level 33. Didn't think. Well, um, that shouldn't make much of a difference. Um, Force Smile. I'm pretty sure it's normal type before it changes its forms. Oh, it is normal type, that's great. Wow, 1029, nice. My oh my, I lost. You certainly did. Okay, mm we'll put Randy in front. And that should be all good. Calbra! Oh, it's a uh, Brizian. Is it Brizian? Or is it Cobalion? I think that might be Cobalion. No, Cobalion. Terrakion? It's one of them. Uh, Cobra! Check who it is, Mr. Team Plasma. Rude. That Pokemon. It's a legendary Pokemon called Cobalion. Okay. I got it right second time. 
Yeah, second time. I told you the story the other day, right? Oh, Cobalion, what a noble presence. They say the three Pokemon Cobalion, Virizion, and Terrakion fought against people to protect Pokemon from the, wa from the war those people started. When people fight, there's no peace for Pokemon either. The three legends learn that the deeds of human could lead to dire consequences for their world. But why did it show up in front of people? Is it patrolling the Unova region to, po to protect Pokemon because it fears for their safety after the commotion caused by Team Plasma two years ago? Or does it sense a new problem? Unforgivable. So the reach of Getsis' ambition and Malice is growing ever wider and warping the lives of all it touches. Did Cabalion appear in front of you merely by accident? Or to plead with you to solve a problem? Unlike Lord N, I don't have the ability to understand the minds of Pokemon. Therefore, I don't know what the Pokemon is thinking. But if you can befriend Combalion, it will be a great asset to you on your journey. It certainly would if I could befriend it, but I don't know where it is, unfortunately. Charstone Cave is great. The Pharisee and I met here were absolutely adorable. Well, I'm happy for you, my friend. Now, will you heal my Pokemon for me? Oh dear, your Pokemon somehow don't seem well. You should rest here for a little while. You can't go anywhere when you're not feeling well. That is too true, you know? There's not enough people like you these days. Good, your Pokemon seems to be full of energy. They certainly do. Maybe I should go to Celestial Tower on Route 7. I have to ring the bell for my Petalil. Mister, here, have this. A shiny stone. Pretty cool. A shiny stone in the item case. You know what? When I gave my Minchino a shiny stone, it became... It evolved and became a different Pokemon. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, so um, we're just going to head up here. Is that all there is? Double check there's no hidden items around here. A ranger down here. Nature. That's right, nature. Pokemon Ranger Richard. Is it just me or is that like a girl? That looks like a girl to me. Oh, I forgot to change into Braviary again. Oh, no, I didn't. Well, that was lucky. I don't recall changing into Braviary, but uh, we did it. So, uh, Aerial Ace, please. GG no- oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, we get it, you poison, get over it. Fungus is gonna die. Seems like everyone on this route has a Fungus. Or route, depending on what part of the world you're from. And a Fungus fainted. Oh, we didn't quite level up there, unfortunately, but, um... There's always next battle. If I use this, will my Pokemon also become energetic? A Petya Berry. Awesome. When we're surrounded by green, we feel more energetic, don't you think? Thank you, Mother Nature. I love you. Alright, so I'm going to heal up here, and then I think we'll call it an episode. Oh dear, your Pokemon somehow don't seem well yet. You've given us the speech before. Just heal my Pokemon so I can leave. I want to go home. Right. So, um... Oh, hidden item. A protein! Okay guys, um, thank you very much for watching. My name was Leah. And um, yeah, I really hope you enjoy this episode. Next episode we will uh, check out Charged Stone Cave, so be sure to tune back in. Um, yeah, this was episode 16 of Pokemon White 2 Adventures. My name is Liam and I'll see you next time.